O is a diphthong vowel sound that moves from a central mid position to a near close near back position. O. The first part of the diphthong is unrounded, U, uh, and the second part can be slightly rounded, U, uh, or unrounded, U, uh, O. Oh. The sound is O before dark L. The starting position is more open, further back, and rounded, O. Oh. O is often spelt with a single O or combinations of O plus a vowel. No, so, toe, zone, rote, road, goad, mold, shoulder. Combinations of O and consonants are also possible. No, slow, folk, yoke, though, donut. Several irregular spellings also occur. So, mauve, brooch, bureau, chauffeur, bow, yeoman, with several of these imported from French. O is a long sound, so it will be shortened before voiceless consonants. Compare road, rote, loathe, loath, robe, rope, doze, dose. Before dark L, the starting position is back open O. O. Compare. Mo. Mole. Toad. Told. Sewed. Sold. Bow. Bolt. In general British, the sound starts somewhere fairly central and moves to the near back position. The movement can be fairly small or larger, mainly depending on the amount of stress. Don't go. The pronunciation before dark L starts back. This was a feature of London accents, but has become standard. O. Oh, sold gold. In RP, O starts centrally or slightly front. O. Oh, don't go. And this same position is used before L. Sold gold. In old fashioned RP, the starting point can be even farther forward and more open. L. Don't go. Sold gold. In general American, O has a mid back rounded starting point. O. Don't go. With no change before L. Sold gold. Pronunciation.